So I've had my Verizon Galaxy uh, S3 for a day now, and I've already got it um, rooted, and I have Clockwork Mod Recovery on it. And the original process I used was I found at RootWiki, um, which uh, had the instructions here. But there, in order to get Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, you need to do some ADB commands, which I didn't have written up. So I kind of rewrote the instructions and compiled it with uh, the ADB commands to get it all done. And um, this is basically how you do that. So first of all, you're going to need three things downloaded. You're going to need Odin, which is the software that flashes um, the system image file. You're going to need the rooted system image file. And then you're going to need the Clockwork Mod Recovery image. Um, once you do that, you need to boot your phone into uh, Odin mode and plug it in your computer. Now, I have a more detailed video process of this, but here's the down and dirty of it. You take your phone here, you hold volume down, you hold the power button, and you hold the home button until it vibrates once, and then it's going to uh, have a little screen that you have to confirm, and then it'll show the Android dude, and then you're in uh, uh, Odin mode. So. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to plug your uh, phone into your computer and boot up Odin, which you've just downloaded. And it's going to look something like this. But when you plug in your phone, which I'll do right now, it'll show that it's plugged in. As you can mm -hmm. see in the IDCOM area. There, see it's active now. Mm -hmm. And um, what you do then is you click on PDA, and then you select the um, rooted system image.tar file that you downloaded and then you uh, click open and then it's there and then you hit start now you want to do this in the Odin mode of course not from the regular booted area once it's done it's going to automatically reboot and then you're going to be rooted and you can tell you're rooted because it's going to look something like this I have um, Android overclock somewhere in here let me see if I can find it, there it is and um, there's your super user request right there we'd allow it. And BusyBox is of course not found. This is a Droid X utility I used a long time ago. Anyway, um, once you're rooted, you're going to uh, want to um, get Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you don't want to install Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can stop there. But um, if you do want to do that, you can, um, uh, you can download I've got the uh, tools packed up, the platform tools from the Android SDK. You can download them right off my blog right here. And um, the file download is right there. You'd save them. They're in a .7c format, so you just have to extract those. And um, then the easiest way to get this done would be you go to your, um, your extracted platform tools that you've downloaded, and you see all these stuff. So you got to open up your command prompt here. You gotta change directories to the platform tools area. Platform tools, and then you'd run adb.exe. And once that's done, you'll have the adb commands. So I'm just gonna plug my phone in here again. And now you do this from the regular booted area, not from the Odin mode. And you type in adb devices, and you see that your device is attached right there. And then you can do the next step of the process. Um, which is basically the pushing of the um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So in order to just make this as quick as painless as possible, I just take the recovery.img and drop it right in that platform tools folder so it's in there, and that way you don't have to do it with the path at all. And then all you need to do is you just follow the commands that are typed up on the blog, and they are... Um, CD desktop, CD platform tools, which I just did run adb.exe, which I just did, which is that big wall of text right here. And then we'd say adb push recovery.img to the SD card, which means we're putting that recovery.img on the SD card. It's going to give you a confirmation right there. It's transferred to the SD card. We're going to type in adb shell, which is the um, shell of the Android debug bridge and you can see the dollar sign which means we're not super user yet so we just type in SU to get super user mode and we get that pound sign which means we have root access and then we're going to type in ddif equals SD card recovery dot img of equals dev block mmc block 0p18 bam it's going to take a moment to complete 
And then we got to get out of the ADB shell, exit to non super user mode, exit out of ADB shell, ADB reboot recovery. Hit enter, and as you can see here, your phone will reboot automatically. And you're going to see the boot image. And then you're going to see Clockwork Mod Recovery. And that's all there is to it. Um, check out the blog for the detailed instructions and enjoy your newly rooted phone.